What's up, Outlaw Nation? How is everybody? So I have them for you. The elusive, the most sought after. I see everybody buying even fake ones. The GP MVG 18s, the authentic, the real Pano night vision, or how everybody else in the industry knows them, quads. All right, guys, so there's three total models of the quads. The first one is the Anvis. The Anvis is the aviation ball detent mount. They're the very first set that ever came out. The second set that came out is the regular Benvis, and it's the dovetail mount. The current version, which is this one, is the ruggedized Benvis mount. Still a dovetail. It's just a stronger, more beefier bridge. One of the benefits of the Pano is you're getting a 97 degree field of view versus the standard 40 degree field of view on like PVS 31s. All right, so this current version, all of the tubes say 2750 from the, from the factory. So they're exceptionally good tubes. Now, if you were looking at like what the tier one operators get, um, how it was explained to me was if you have like the tube, it comes in big long pieces and like the very center piece, and I know this isn't the best of information, but you guys know, I'm just kind of overall give you the information. The very center pieces come out the highest 3,500 maybe, even 4,000 FOM, like super high FOM. And those go to tier one, like nobody else gets those. And then as they go down that list, um, you can get the further ones out. And so 2,750 FOM, which these are, I spent an entire night in these. Actually, I spent two entire nights in these. They're incredible. They work incredibly well. Okay guys, so a couple of things about the ruggedized Benvis is they stay on all the time. So when you flip them up, they're still on. So if you were, you know, for some reason, you had them flipped up and you were looking up, everybody's gonna see that. According to my buddy, this is the highest selling, I don't sell these, um, but this is the highest selling model. Some people like the older ones that whenever you flip them up, they turn them off, but right now, the ruggedized version seems to be the highest selling one. It doesn't run off of a regular battery that you can put inside the bridge somewhere. It runs off a battery pack only. I used them for, two nights, like eight hours a night, never turned them off and the batteries were still good. I'll keep running them and kind of update you and let you know how long until the battery just like totally runs out. I think it's something like 40 hours or something is what the pack says. So the first drawback is um, if you can get these, their civilians usually can't get these, but if you can, the going rate is 42 to 45 grand right now. So you can get a set if you got 40 G's. Second drawback is they are heavy. I don't really look at that as a drawback. I, I want to so I've talked to several guys who spent two decades using these for a living, and they said it usually took about a week in country, and then their head was used to it again. For most of you, this is not a reality to have to wear this every day. So it's, it, I understand that it's, you know, in your mind, you're like, oh, my neck is gonna hurt. The truth is it's like two a days in football, right? So if you were playing football, remember back to your high school days, maybe your college days, first time you threw that helmet on for three days, my neck was sore. Um, to be honest with you, I wore these literally, I wore the helmet two days straight and two nights. I wore the, the nods two nights, didn't take them off. My neck wasn't sore. Now, I do have the lighter uh, Opscore, the brand new SF high cut ballistic helmet, and it's almost like, it's just a little heavier than a bump helmet. I don't even use a bump helmet anymore because this one's so light, but I didn't personally have an issue. And the truth is, um, whatever you're doing, LARPing, hanging out in your mom's basement, maybe you're a cop. If you wear these, if you're a cop, you're not wearing them all day anyway. So I don't think that that's a drawback, but some people do. Another drawback is because they never shut off when you flip them up, if you had these on and they got underneath the light, you're gonna take a real chance of burning the tubes. So where a normal set of PVS 31s come up and they turn off, and if you walked into a house, you were fine, or if you walked from a house outside, you were fine, but let's say you just forgot, you had these quads on, you went inside, did CQB in the daytime, maybe you're a SWAT team guy, maybe you're a LARPer in your mom's basement, you walk outside, it's a bright sunny day, you might lose your tubes. One of the problems that a lot of guys have is they, they think they adjusted them when they first put them on, but you have to adjust all four tubes to your eye. So what I had to do was I had to purposely focus on one side, adjust it, adjust the other one, adjust, like, you're, I have to purposely focus on it because your eyes will go back and forth, you just don't realize it. Make sure that when you put them on, you adjust all four. Now, if you are the very first time, when I very first put these on, all right, and I got another buddy who bought a set and then he was like, dude, I didn't like them after I wore them the first time or the second time, so I sold them. If the only time you use these is for LARPing in your mom's basement, yeah, you're not gonna like them. You're probably gonna like PVS 31s better. But when you're actually using it, 
and actually doing CQB at night and there's a chance that on the other side you may not come home, man, there's nothing better. All right, so the positives, positives for me. One, they're super cool and half the battle's looking cool. Two, when I was doing the CQB class, I, I put myself in several spots throughout the stack on purpose that night and I used both these. I even used a PVS 14 just to try and I used my normal PVS 31s that I run. So here's what I can tell you. Inside of a house doing CQB, I don't think that there's anything better. I was able to see angles and see corners so that I could do my correct foot placement to button hook around corners or to move faster. I was able to pick the bad guys up quicker out of the corner of my eye with these than I was with the PVS 31s. As a matter of fact, I was running this that night, both those nights, with a Navy operator who does this for a living. And he was missing things that I would see in the PVS 31s when I had these, and then vice versa. When we switched, I would miss the things that he, that he picked up. So if it was me and I was doing CQB for a living or CQB at all, and I could get my hands on these, I would absolutely do it. If I was a police department, all of my entry guys would have these. And I wouldn't care if your neck hurt. I would say do more neck workouts. Also, another positive is when you're driving, these are incredible for driving. I don't know how to explain to you. So PVS 31s, um, you guys know if you watch a lot of my videos, I spend a lot of time thermal hunting at night. I spend a lot of time under nods. And so PVS 31s, I think I've talked to you guys about this before. When I'm driving with them, they'll make me what I would describe to you as seasick. So I don't get car sick, I don't get air sick, and I don't get seasick. But under nods, after about two, three hours of driving, it, um, it was described to me that the nods aren't moving, but my eyes are. And so after a few hours, I gotta stop and take them off and for maybe 10, 15 minutes, and that really sucks. With these quads, I didn't have to do that. I drove in a vehicle and I drove in a, a UTV and I never had to take them off once. I never got dizzy once. I never felt like I was gonna nauseous once. So for me and driving, they're incredible. All right, so there are absolutely purpose-built reasons to nods. These are for CQB. I would tell you, driving and CQB. My PVS 31s are better for being outside better for walking outside. I, I have the BMVD Fusions that have the thermal overview that I got to test out these last couple of days as well. It's almost like it's purpose built, like CQB driving and then the BMVD Fusion for being outside because the thermal was incredible outside. Not so, not as great as I wanted it to be inside. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I know this is a little unstandard from what I've been doing, but I had a chance to review the quads for you guys. You're gonna see them. You're gonna see them in a lot of videos. You're gonna like them. And uh, it's, it's cool to get to see things that you don't normally get to see. So I thought I'd bring it to you. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. 70% of you are still watching and you're not subscribed. Come on guys, get me back in that algorithm. Outlaw out. <laughs>